spirit moves, my spirit came out of my body. Oh. Like suddenly, I just saw myself on a straight line. That, okay, that, your spirit, okay, your spirit jumped out of your body. Yes. And you just see that it runs up yes. and you met yourself on a straight line. Yes. So that's just like there are many lot of people there, many faces, different kinds of faces. I'm very shaking that what am I doing here? When I get to the judgment room, so I saw two angels at the front, one carry a golden book, and the second angel carry a lot of book. So the first angel shared my name at the golden book. He didn't see my name there. So the second angel now shed a lot of book. And the angel saw my name there. And the angel told me that I did not do the work that God told me to do. And you did not do the work that God, God told you to do. To do yes. Okay. Bless you, bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God bless you. My name is Apostle Peter Daniel by the grace of God. You are watching me in heaven and hell live program. The one we usually do. Uh, by the special grace of God, uh, we want you to patiently watch this video. Today we have our sister here. Our sister in fact she have a powerful testimony to share you don't have to miss it you can't just miss it it's very powerful and as you are listening i want you to do me a favor do one thing for me as you are listening subscribe to that channel share it press like button and comment it's very very important then press the notification button so that anytime we post like this you can be alerted so the lord bless you in the mighty name of jesus happy listening sister god bless you in the mighty name of jesus christ how are you i'm fine sir uh, i'm very happy to have you again in this uh platform the message you give last time i must confess to you it really touched people and uh, people were converted uh, I appreciate God for that. I appreciate God for that. Uh, today, you were telling me some things. You were telling me some things which uh, I will want you to share with people because it's very powerful. So, the Lord will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. But before you see anything, I would like you to give us your name again so that those who have not seen you before or hear about you, they can uh, as well know you. Yeah, what is your name, please? My name is Bamiwo Esther. Sister Bamiwo Esther. I would like to ask you once again, how old are you? I am 11 years old. 11 years old. As I've said before, 11 years old sister who gave a life to Christ and who is serving God in a teenage age. You are more than 11 years old. You have not given your life to Jesus. You are proving stubborn. But there here comes a young girl who Jesus is appearing to, my dear brother and sister. He's appearing to and giving a lot of encounters. I pray God help you in Jesus' name. Sister Esther Bamiwo, I am very happy I have you here. Thank you, sir. you told me something that you died i am so surprised because it is not quite long we have an interview with you and you are telling me about uh it's not two days ago right yes sir you told me that you died am i right yes sir i i am so surprised i'm so so very very surprised uh how did it happen? How did it happen? How did you die? Thank you, sir. At Thursday night. I died at Thursday night. You say what? Dead at Thursday night. 
But what actually happened to you before such thing happened? It goes like this. When I'm very sick for a few days, we have, we used to go to evangelism at Thursday. So I'm very sick. I just said, let me go with my sickness. I believe God will heal me. And I go with the sickness. When we are coming back home, I cannot walk again because that sickness is very hard. I cannot walk again. One of my brothers now backed me up. So as I get home, I slept. When I slept, at the midnight, my mom wake me up to go and pee. As I go and pee, when I come back to sleep at the bed, so I saw a, a dark spirit, like dark spirit just move, which is the spirit of death. So, wow, you saw a dark spirit, it moves. How do you know it's the spirit of death? Because is I saw the the dark thing move like after when when the dark spirit moves, my spirit came out of my body. Oh, I see. When the spirit moves, you now see that automatically your spirit jump out of your body. Yes, sir. So and I saw myself just going. Please, please, before you continue, there's something I need to let people know. This young girl, she said that she's sick about few days, and they want to go to evangelism in the camp, and she decided in her heart that she did not want to stay without going to win the soul for Christ. Even in her sickness, she, she managed to go. After, after the evangelism, as she was coming back, she felt that she was totally down. She cannot work any longer. She, some of the brother who went with them asked to carry her on the back to come back. This is wonderful. Little thing will happen because of little thing you will stop going to church because your pastor talk to you anyhow you stop worshiping God. There are some people among you that the call of God is upon their life and they are wasting time. This young sister, even in her sickness, in her condition, she still find time to go and evangelize. Probably that's one of the things that God is going to, you know, he's looking at in her life. Sister, please, can you please continue? So, as my spirit came out of my body, I just saw myself walking in a dark place. So, you, you saw yourself, your spirit came out. Yes. You now see everywhere was dark. Yes. Walking in a dark place. So, and I saw myself on, on, on a straight line. So I'm shaking on that line that okay. What wait, am I? wait. How do you get to the straight line? When, when I, when my spirit came out of my body, when I saw myself walking in a dark place, like suddenly I just saw myself on a straight line. That okay, that, your spirit. Okay, your spirit jump out of your body. Yes. And you just see that it runs up. Yes. And you met yourself on a straight line. Yes. So that straight line, there are many lot of people there, many faces, different kind of faces. I'm very shaking that what am I doing here? I'm in the back. So that line, there are many thousands of people on that narrow line. So and I hear my name, Bamiwo Esther. So when I hear my name, that thing started carrying me. I started running. And I stand on uh, at the judgment place. This is very serious. So you 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 ran. Uh, they call you, you. They call your name, Bami Wester, and so you ran to the front and you met yourself on the judgment room. Yes. 
son. Okay, you can continue, please. Just continue. So, when I get to the judgment room, louder. When I get to the judgment room, so I saw two angels at the front. One carry a golden book, and the second angel carry a lot of book. So, the first angel checked my name at the golden book. He didn't see my name there. So. The second angel now shed a lot of book, and the angel saw my name there. And the angel told me that I did not do the work that God showed me to do. And you did not do the work that God, God told, told you to do. To do yes. Okay. So I did not have faith. Is that you said, wait, come again. I did not have faith. You did not do the work God asked you to do, and yes. you did not have faith. Yes, sir. Okay. So, and I hear a terrible voice, depart, and I didn't know what is carrying me. I started speeding. So that place is very hot. Without getting to the end, so that place is very hot. the heat of the fire removed my clothes. So when I get to the air fire, I started shouting. Father, show me mercy. Have mercy on me. I started crying, Lord. Have mercy on me. I started shouting and I saw a demon just came. And the demon started making jest of me. Started laughing that but you are the one that God is showing vision. That today I will torture you. I started shouting. Have mercy on me, Father. Have mercy on me. Show me mercy. So I let say one statement that father with all the things i've done for you i left my school i left everything to serve you father show me mess and i hear a voice i give you one more chance to go and do what you're supposed to do and go and do the work that i told you to do so once one spirit just carry me from the hell to the foot of the mountain so my spirit started running my spirit started walking, walking, and I get uh, to our mountain. So, when I get there, my mother now told me that I'm walking you since morning. Why do you not wake? So, when I'm not going, and I saw Jesus Christ, he wear a white, his face was shiny, shiny, go shiny. I cannot even see his face. I I bend my eyes because I can't see his face. With the bent eyes that I even bent, I can't still see his face. So he now told me, Come. As he's doing come, his eyes was shiny, come. So as he's doing come like this, as maybe he do come like this, his hand will shine, shiny blinking star. So Okay, you mean that when he's doing come, yes. the hand will be blinking yes. like a, 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 a a, a lighting yes oh god it was so glorious so when Ina told me to come that he want to teach me some things and i follow him so when i follow him he told me the thing why i go to the hell he told me because i'm too playful he said to you that the reason why you go to hell you were sent to hell was because you are too playful Yes, hmm. I'm talking hmm. too much. He said, okay, he said you are talking too much again. Yes. Okay. And I'm doing many things that I did not supposed to do. And and my and I, the word that he told me to do, I didn't do it. That's why I go to hell. So Jesus just called Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit came, I'm so sorry. Okay, wait. As Jesus Christ was talking to you. Yes. And tell you the reason why you you, are, you went to hell. Yes. Immediately, he now called Holy Spirit. Am I right? Yes, sir. You are right, sir. Okay, he now called Holy Spirit. Oh, I see. So when the Holy Spirit came, I'm very surprised. His head, from his neck to his head, is like a cloud. I cannot see his face, his head. It's like a cloud. And he wear white garment. So the Holy Spirit now told me that he want to dwell in me. But with my playfulness, he did not allow to dwell in me. Because Holy Spirit cannot dwell in a dead place. Hmm. Guy. Hmm. 
सीरियसली आई एम लिस्टनिंग यू कैन कंटिन्यू सो ही टोल्ड मी दैट बिकॉज़ ही कैन नॉट डू इन अ डर्टी प्लेस दैट एंड ही टोल्ड मी टू बी ओनली एंड प्योर आई शुड नॉट बी प्लेफुल आई शुड नॉट बी टॉकिंग सो एंड ही टोल्ड मी दैट I should be pure and only. I should do everything right. So, when he tell me finish, when they talk to me finish, so and I see all his spirit just disappear. So and my when my mother wake me and my spirit come back to my body. My beloved, I I I don't know what to say. Please do mind the way the sister is talking. You know she's a young girl. She's trying to analyze the revelation that happened to her. Let me say the incident that happened to her. This message she's saying to you, she has told me. And when she told me, I was so surprised because about the times that uh, this thing happened to her. In fact, it was a something that is surprising. You know, when you just have a a few sickness, like a malaria sickness, and uh, it leads you to to death, you just met yourself on the judgment roll. In fact, the thing keep on giving me a big time thinking that is that how people just die like that? Just come more small sickness. That is why I am. I will keep on telling you that you should live a life of sanctification and a holy life. Prepare yourself daily because you can die at any time. And if you die without you having Jesus in your life, it means even the mad person in the street is better than you. I will keep on saying that it is better. they aborted your pregnancy and you didn't come to this world at all then you come and never make heaven your life if you die without making heaven your life is the most worstest life ever because a life without Christ is a problem life beloved i will advise you with Whatsoever I'm just telling you now live a life of preparation because anything can happen I remember the time I also died there was a time I also died and I saw the spirit of death dead I just finished prayer when I died that day The message I'm talking to you is among the YouTube, uh, among my video I put it. You can you can you can check it. We hear the full video there. I remember I just finished prayer that day when the spirit of death came. It doesn't matter your title. It doesn't matter whether you read read the Bible or you know the read Bible. What matters is that your life is in right stand. If not for the grace that saved this sister. and return her to the head it's not what you are saying that you be saying now i pray in the mighty name of jesus that your life will not be missing in jesus name god bless you in the mighty name of jesus christ this is just sort of revelation this sister is trying to tell you please before you go try to subscribe don't just go with that subscribe you subscribe press notification button press like button share it to everyone that concern your family your friends your people share it to everyone so that their blood will not be upon you i pray that you and i we make heaven at last please before you go i want to tell you that if you want to be receiving messages training discipleship in heaven and hell program we have a school of heaven you can come there we have a camp you will check the prophecy of 2023 that is there we hear it there and we also have a fellowship on zoom you can join us 
if you also need deliverance you can also join us and if you want to bless the ministry you can also whatsapp me i pray god will bless you and be with you in jesus name bless you bye bye you are blessed i died after giving my life to christ that was three weeks and five days i gave my life to christ you mean you died after three weeks and five days they can't give your life to jesus yes sir wow so please please before i want you to explain how do you die you said the way i stand in the land of the dead who said when i come to the land of the dead and never give back the word again hmm. now answer me this is the last of stop he hmm. literally he told me this is the last of stop he turned his back on me he told me that many women are mad that is in this world and not even human being many of them are sent from this British world to grab money in Patreon to destroy the plan of God for their life and such a marriage can never be approved some some women are just beasts that come to humanity and God when you want to come come together God is seeing beasts and you are seeing human being do you not think God will not approve such a thing he cannot approve it he will not there are many great men of God and Christians that he have appointed the devil has released many of his children and i told you if you marry such people god will not be your marriage you know, so do you know that many people that you see are born again on earth that are dead eating their head say most of them are on earth i should say that because if they broke my heart and place on my bed i began to sweat in that dream i was up, i was shaking he said most of them my head. head yes wow so, so serious i was afraid i began to shake he said it's not time for you to shake me. He said, when you see me to sleep, see food to eat. He said, the next thing, fight how to make heaven. He said, don't bother about husband. Don't bother about children. Don't bother about money. Because all those things, if you have it to this one, they are useless. We let you eat this one. The only thing you fight for here is how to make heaven. And I add a voice. Tell people to do restitution. Tell people to do the restitution. Yes. When I add that voice, tell people to do restitution. I started telling people to do restitution. Suddenly, that just started taking place. The beasts started coming out and killing those that are not saved of God. Started killing them. Okay, you mean in the underground world yes. of this kind? Yes. Now, in this market, you say in one side, they are selling horses, wearing food and different kinds of things like that. Under the marine world. world. What? Most of them are man-made from the marine world. Hmm. When they come into the world, they turn to human beings. But when they go back into the marine kingdom, they turn to man-made. So what they do is, when they come into the world, they turn to Christians. They become Christians. Most of them have married Christians, married men of God. Hmm. Who didn't know that they were from marine world? Hmm. And their mission was to make that man of God fall. Hmm. To sin and, and offend God. So many men of God have married marine man-made, but they did not know. I got to know the reason Christians are not making people money. begin to wear the things of the world, attaching themselves to the system of the world, attaching themselves with the logistic ideologies of the marine world, how the marine world has presented the church and the world. The church has immediately entered into it and mixed the fraction together and they bring it, they begin to bring the disco the decoration into the church. This is in the era and the system whereby the church has been designed as a place of party. You begin to see different lights shining on the altar in the level whereby the church has been so and have been swallowed by the spirit of fashions and the civilizations coming by coming from the mammoth and in the marine world. These are the reasons, no matter how you prove your holiness, your holiness cannot please God, your holiness cannot be acceptable. And